Hey guys, and welcome to the Get Life Podcast, and I kind of failed at the beginning of this recording, because, you know, I didn't know that how to record and things like that. Anyway, so, yeah, we got people on, and it's the gamers team. Say hello, guys. Hey. Hi. How's it going? Unfortunately, uh, Lawrence wasn't able to join us, which is a shame because I really wanted him to join this discussion. Yeah. But, yes, yeah, so, you're probably thinking, what's going on, what we're going to talk about? We're going to talk about Dynasty Warriors. Um, I think we're going to start off with talking about the TK family, and Rydant, care to explain what the TK family is? Um... Well, it kind of stemmed from um, a, a community session with a, a Q&A community session um, with a few fans, uh, um, then got uh, branded uh, the TK family. Um, and it's kind of expanded. It's basically, a lo- you know, it's the T- uh, Tecmacoe community, um, which are kind of in a bond, more like a family than... Uh, a load of fans, you know, individual fans, or whatever. So we're kind of collectively a family. Kind of talk about other things as well as uh, just TK um, related stuff. Um, and it's a good, good family to be in. Oh, so yeah. Also, um, thanks for that, Ryden. And yeah, would you like to care to talk about the We Are Gamers podcast? Justin? Oh yeah, sure. The, uh, the We Are Gamers podcast, uh, we are gaming, anime, and manga reviews and stories. Uh, that's what gamer stands for. Uh, it's, it is me, Bryden, uh, Team Benevolence, Michelle, and uh, Lawrence. Uh, we get together, we talk about gaming, we talk about anime, we talk about uh, game culture, anime culture, geek culture, just really whatever is on our minds at the moment, we just kind of talk about. Uh, we have a Tumblr as well. Um, it's a collection of our actual written reviews and written posts, and we're starting to use our YouTube channel a little bit more. We're starting to put out more uh, video captures and uh, vlogs. So, yeah, check us out. We are gamers. Awesome. And I'll put, guys, if you're listening, of course you're listening, because then you wouldn't be listening to anything. You better be, be listening. Awkward. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit aggressive there, right? <laughs> just outside someone's house. Like a pitchfork. <laughs> well, I'm just outside the window, just staring at you, just looking. I'm gonna make sure you want to listen to the podcast. Can you song. see me waving? <laughs> see, this is why I wanted to record with you guys because of this. <laughs> anyway, it's okay. Michelle's busy eating sheep stomach for Burns night. There was too much, I couldn't finish it. (laughs) True story. Anyway, okay, let's go back to (laughs) Dynasty Warriors, and, you know, of course, Dynasty Warriors H and Son Goku Muso 7 is coming out in February. So, um, actually, me and Michelle were talking about this before the podcast started, and I feel that it was a bit of an early release. I was expecting it to come out... um, when the PS4 is expected to come out around 2014. What do you guys think? Well, I was kind of expecting it. Um, see, they were working on this about the same time they were working on Dynasty Warriors 7 Empires. Um, so, they were, kind of, they were using uh, an, an improved version of the Dynasty Warriors 7 engine. Which is why it's still on the same uh, same console, um, and it's also one of the reasons why uh, what's his face from Shu, uh, Zushu, yeah, he um, why he's exactly the same in Empires as he is in Eight because he was actually um, shoved into Empires from Eight. Oh wow. See, I, uh, I, I saw his I saw his release, and I'm like, did, did they change anything? I guess the coat looks no. a little different, but no, you just confirmed it is exactly the same. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah I, I had a I, I spoke with um, with Chen, and um, he said that 
um, he wasn't meant to be in Empires, but they put him, they, they kind of made a decision almost last minute, and they, they put him into um, into the Empires game, and uh, that's why he hasn't got a different uh, style to him, as some people might have been expecting. I, I approve the decision. More love yeah. the, the Kingdom of Benevolence. I can't I can't hate on that. It's it's actually quite nice to have one of the characters uh, pop into the, the earlier game. And, you yes. know, then we've got that explosion of all these new characters that are in 8 that, uh, you know, people have been wanting to be in the game for God knows how long if you look at forums and things like that. Hmm. So this brings me on to another point. Who are you most excited about? Because personally, I'm most excited uh, for, you know, Hang Dang because I saw him as an NPC in yes. all the other Dynasty Warriors games and I'm like, better bring him in Dynasty Warriors 8 and you know they did. Because I, I think um, Chin was actually tweeting about it a couple of months ago. He was asking people, well, in more Dynasty Warriors games, who do you want to see? And a lot of people have been saying, Hang Dang, uh, Yao Hua. I'm surprised Yao Hua is not in the game, because, you know, he he lived long. Yet. But there's yeah. still there's still uh, characters to be revealed, so... I would bet the 50 cents on my desk right now. We will probably see uh, Hua in this game. I mean I, I, I mean, I couldn't say that there's going to be any other new characters, but there's still characters to be revealed. You know, some of the existing characters and whatnot. So there could be some, you know, some sneaky ones that uh, jump in there. Also, people have been like spreading rumors saying oh, Zuo G is coming back, but I don't think so. What do you guys think about that? Um, I, I couldn't say. I mean. They've surprised us enough with some of these uh, reveals, so... I mean, who's to say? I... I don't know. I, I, I honestly can't see him in 8. I mean, if he... I'll put it this way. If he's in 8, I wouldn't be surprised, especially because they... They gave us his... They basically gave us his costume as... Um, a creative warrior set in 7 Empire, so I wouldn't be surprised if he's in 8. But just... Just seeing the way, the route they're going with how they're telling the story, how they're actually trying to stick to the actual novel, I, I don't see how Zul Chi fits in there. He shows up for what? He has one scene with Cao Cao? <laughs> I, I, I don't see how that gets in the game. And, you know, in 5, he kind of broke the game. You, you could literally run around 5 doing his special, and the, the, the game is no longer challenging at that point. Mm. But that, that can be said with any other Dynasty Warriors game, because... Recently, I'm playing Dark Story 7 Extreme Legends, and I'm like, oh, this is easy. I'm, I genuinely think that it's not as difficult as it was in Dynasty Warriors 4, let's say, because I remember playing Dynasty Warriors 4, now, and I actually recently played Dynasty Warriors 4 on, like, normal mode, and it's hard. It's very difficult, and, you know, I go to Extreme Legends, um, Dark Story 7 Extreme Legends, play on Nightmare, and it's a breeze. See, do you think they made the games easier as they kind of progressed? I don't know if they made it easier. I, I, I will say, Nightmare Mode in 7 Extreme Legends is a breeze if and only if you have that title that restores your health with the speed weapon. I, th I think you've also got some, there's, you know, there's some uh, reasonably new tools and abilities and moves that you can, you know, uh, combat actions and combos and things that you can actually right. do in this, which probably does make it seem a little easier it's kind of easier to kind of you know mash your way through um, right because because on, on nightmare if you're trying to do nightmare without using any health restoring tricks and just playing nightmare straight through it's a little difficult the the ai actually will try to surround you and they're more prone to leading you into uh to pincers your defense is ignored so i will say in four it was way more aggressive like they actively sought you out Especially when you were trying to get help, they actively sought you out to try to take you down. But seven, seven is just as challenging. They just gave us more things to to. to uh, I don't want to say make it easier, but I guess that's what they did. They wanted to give you a way to actually deal with the nightmare. Mm. So, so you can, you know, you, yes. Yeah, so, so as you say, you can just take them away and uh, give yourself back that difficulty, that challenge. But it's like in in Extreme Legends on Nightmare. Even at full health, with like all your stats maxed out, it's guaranteed you will be dead within a couple of minutes without that. Without this. <laughs> oh, 
Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I, I remember watching that video with you and uh, with uh, you and Justin um, when you were both doing the nightmare mode, <laughs> and Justin almost almost goes right down in his health at, at one point. Oh yeah, cause cause I got careless. Like I said, I was like, oh this is easy. This is health drops too round. I was like, oh, okay, back up. <laughs> So do you think um, the nightmare difficulty will return in Dynasty Warriors 8? I'm sure it will. Uh, I will say nightmare normally pops up in Extreme Legends, right? Mm. That's a, an Extreme Legends. It, yeah, it could be. I'm pretty it's sure I read Legends. somewhere that it's been it's been taken out. Actually, they've, 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 they've implemented an, e an easier easy mode, haven't they? Yeah, beginner, I think. No, it's like uh, it's it's it's, 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 it's supposed to be like a one button jobby. <laughs> Yeah, it's basically like it's easy mode, but then you have you press basically square and it does all these <laughs> mad combos for you, and that's it. <laughs> what? Yeah. Okay. Okay. No. I love my Dynasty Warriors. I love you, my Dynasty Warriors. So, so don't ever go into that difficult level. It, it, Dynasty Warriors is easily one of my favorite series ever. If, if you need an easy mode, if you need a hand holding mode for Dynasty Warriors, you, you might just want to hang up the stakes. You might just want to <laughs> say, you know what? Uh, I'm good. I'm done. I retire. Actually, you know what? When I get when I get Dynasty Warriors A, I should just like see if I can find that mode and just live stream it. Yes. <laughs> just like uh, <laughs> this is the idiot's guide to Dynasty Warriors. But if you think about it, it's kind of I'll say it would have its uses. Um, if you think about it, because you know there's um, but you know you can all mm, it's hard to explain because you know there's people been um. You know, signing petitions and things for like button remapping, and you know, certain people can't actually press all the buttons and such. So, you know, if you've done it where you only press one button, you know, that that might help people. I'll tell you who okay, it will well, help. If, if, it, if it's a, a button remap thing and not a difficulty decrease thing, then I can see that. I'll, there, I'll, tell, you who, I'll, I'll tell you who. I'll tell you who. i tell you who it will help, it, especially if it was um, just a button remap thing. Um, is people like the guys that use these special effects um, mm -hmm. uh, facilities? They'll probably, you know, they'll probably still want the challenge with the difficulty, but, but obviously the, the access to the buttons to do the um, to do the combos, a remapping system would be better than a difficulty system. Yeah, but it's like at the same time, it's like Dynasty Warriors has a bad enough rep in the West for being a, yes. a one-button masher anyway. <laughs> Do you know, what, what, what grinds me is that there's, um, they, they, also, you know, they have people saying that, and then you see that they're playing these games where they're only bashing one button. I would say you, 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 you can't. And I make this, I make this anytime someone gets in an argument or anytime someone brings up, oh well, Dynasty Warriors is repetitive. You can't say you don't like Dynasty Warriors for being repetitive when you buy Call of Duty every year. <laughs> yes. Call of Duty is the same game, and, and I like Call of Duty. It is the same game every year, with just minor tweaks to either the multiplayer or the story. But in terms of general gameplay, pushing the left stick to crouch, aim with L1, shoot with R1, grenade with R2. That that formula does not change. And that could pretty much go staple to pretty to almost any first person shooter. Yeah, the, 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 the formula does not change. Yeah. So you, you, you cannot tell me that Dynasty Wars is repetitive and you don't like it if you're buying Call of Duty, or if you're buying Madden every year. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, what about games like FIFA, where you're always pressing the same button to kick and pass? Exactly. <laughs> now they may make minor tweaks in the gameplay, but in general, it is a re it is a repetitive thing. Yeah. But aren't all games like that? If you think about it, See, and, that, and that's what it gets to. Yeah. Most games that come out yearly or bi-yearly are going to have the same control scheme. I'm pretty sure I used to press the same button all the time when I was playing Streets of Rage. Oh, man. Double Dragon? <laughs> that B button was my friend. Yeah. <laughs> so. And what about Mario? Hey, don't talk about Mario. Well, no. <laughs> we, we brought this up earlier. You really want a way to lose three friends? Just pop in Mario for the win. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> so, I, assume, I assume you watched the new video, um, Bish. Um, 
Yeah, my sisters actually showed it to me. I was like, wow. Are you talking about the Musos or the the weird like city kind of? The the the, the, the full video that went out um, yesterday. Yeah, I think my sh my sister showed it to me. It was like all these weird. I my mind was just blowing up at that point. I was like, whoa, this is just amazing. But one thing that actually um, stuck in my mind was you know that that new kind of they they're calling it like the awakening yeah. kind of Muso, it's but it. Rough. Yeah, but it reminds me of Muso Rage from Dynasty Warriors 5. Um, I saw that. You know what that is? What? You called it. It's Muso Rage from 5 combined with the old style Musos from 5, 4, yeah, 3. Yeah, because I saw Xiao Yun's one and I was like, well, that's his Muso from Dynasty Warriors 2. And, you know, they yes! have that kind of effect going on. I'm like, that's amazing. You know, they're bringing back that nostalgic effect from the, from the old games, you know. Yeah. Now, when, when I was um, when I was speaking to Chin, um, one of the things that he was saying uh, that, that they were saying in Japan was um, they've tried to incorporate a few things from, from the popular series um, Sengoku Basara. So they've tried to incorporate some of the some elements from that into this game. Uh, in all honesty, I'm not a fan of of that game. Mainly because I'm not actually a fan of the, you know, the, the warring states time. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna step away now because I know there's loads of people that are gonna email me now and they're like, "Oh my god, how can you hate this game?" Probably well, you, you you've got uh, Michelle on on this uh, yeah. on this channel right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm scared currently. It's like, I wasn't into the Warring States period either, then I played Basara, and it's like, yeah, I had a change of opinion. It's one of these games I if I want to play, I just never got around to getting or anything like that. Um, and obviously, the better one, as you were saying yesterday on our podcast, uh, is the one that we don't, you, you got to import. Yeah, it's like... People complain about sort of Dynasty Warriors being sort of, you know, Japanese with English subs only, but at least we're getting the game. Capcom yeah. isn't that nice. No. <laughs> hmm. But what if they do that with Dynasty Warriors? Because that's something I'm really scared of. Uh, the Dynasty Warriors series, I don't think they would. Um, but like I said, the, the spin-off titles... Um, I think are more likely not to come over here. Um, you know, Europe will kind of press to get them over here as much as they can if there's enough demand for it. Uh, but a lot of the spin-off titles, um, probably Japan won't see the demand being strong enough to bother importing it. Okay. Uh, to bother, uh, bother um, exporting it over here, or you know, or doing, um, you know, having to do the treatment to give it uh, sub uh, subtitles or anything like that. Um, something I want to raise as well is, um, I was talking to my sister about this yesterday when she was showing me the uh, trailer, and she was wondering if the game will get like a English dubs, English voice acting, but I, I genuinely do not think so, I think it's going to be like how it is. That's, it's another thing which uh, um, Tecmico Europe are working on trying to get. Uh, with their submission to try and get the game over here, they're trying to uh, th they've submitted a report to try and get English uh, dub in the game. Uh, so that so, so all of that's in process. So the thing is, I wouldn't want to see English dubs because firstly, you know, Tecmo have to spend more money in doing sorting that out. You know, when they could spend more money in developing the game more. Also. Half the, the thing time, is the, the game's already developed, so... Um, you know, you can work on DLC. You know, spend that money on DLC or spend the money on your next title. Well, um, but see, one of the things was um, the fact that uh, Japan does, in a way, have the money to spend on, on doing this, on getting the, um, getting the dub. But they won't because of the reputation that the dub's been given. Um, a lot of people have given it a reputation that it's cheesy or it's it's of a poor quality, uh, and because of that, they don't you know they don't see any point. 
plus also people are you know when they were just bringing it with English English dub and you didn't have the option people were just wanting the Japanese dub uh, so can't you know it's, 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 it's one of those damned if they do damned if they don't yeah. uh, I will say I would love for them to go the route they did in 7 where yeah. you have the English dub and you have the option to switch back however depending on how well Dynasty Warriors 7 Empires does I could easily see Tecmo Koei Japan saying we can do the same amount of sales with less effort so why am I going to spend more money if I'm not really get a re- getting a return on that investment exactly because the- for, for, for the most part we may want the dub if it's just if it is just subtitled we're going to buy the game anyway yeah, but with, with, with a bit of luck, I mean, hopefully they get the dub, um, get the permission oh, to put the dub on it. But the main, main reason being is because, obviously, uh, there's a lot of complaints uh, from the US PSN users because they have to download it. And that, that that is one... I guess that's leverage that if we had proper representation from Tecmo Kauai America... Yes, that yeah. They, that they could use, but we don't have proper. Yeah, because yeah, because unfortunately, the, the people that are um, submitting the reports is um, are the European side, and obviously, we get the disc-based versions of the game. Uh, we're not uh, uh, Sony Computer Entertainment Europe don't have the same policies with regards to the Japanese um, dub and having to buy it as a di- um, as a download title. That's something I don't understand. How come... You know, Sony in itself is a Japanese company. How come they just don't allow it? Um, it's... Each... Um, it's, 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 it's overall a... Um, you know, the, the parent company as such is Japan. Mm. But um, each individual region has their own company. So they each company is run independently. Mm. So they, you know, they have their own policies. Um... You know, and rules and everything else, which come, which coincides with, you know, regional laws and whatever else as well. Okay. Um, another thing. Uh, who? Which of all the characters? Which one? Actually, no. I didn't. Oh yeah, I was gonna say that. I already said that. Um, <laughs> fail. And I know you guys love the fails over here. Uh, anyway. Um, they brought a lot of new weapons into this game. Like what? Lusu's rake. Yeah, <laughs> that's a bit odd. What do you have to say about no, that? No, I love the rake. I, I do love, love the rake. rake. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> after I after I saw it in action, I loved it. I thought that was brilliant. Who goes into battle with a with a garden rake? You know do. who does? Lusu. <laughs> you know why Lusu does it? Because he's an M F and B A. Well, read in between the lines. I don't. No, that's. It seems a bit stupid. That weapon. <laughs> say, that's you, you why say, I love it. It, it. it is just so ridiculous. It is like I'm just here with my rake, one thousand KOs. Now I'm well, just here chilling with my rake. A, you know, a, a rake or a hoe would be you know, quite accessible in a farming land. So why not? Wow. Here's the thing. I like it because it's ridiculous. It is yeah. so. Re- it is so ridiculous. I hate it's those so ridiculous like, weapons, really? especially like like when they do DLCs. Like Dung Ai had the like shish kebab thing in Warriors of Three. Yeah. I hated yeah, but... that. It's just this. What the hell? Yeah, 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 yeah that's, 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 that's all. Warriors of Three. That's that's all DLC. You don't have to have it. You know. I know, you, but you... I'm I'm just saying. You know, it's like. The rake, or like even I think even in Warriors Orochi Three, it was like one of the characters had some sort of like rake. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Orochi had a rake. He had a rake as one of his um, big star weapons. Yeah, that's his big star. His big star is the rake. Yeah, and it was like I don't want to use this. It's just it just looks stupid, and I, I don't know. What would be cool is if they found if uh, they gave us the player the option to select the weapon skin. Like each weapon, let's say you max out the weapon and it has these stats, but you can choose the skin of the weapon, you can choose how it looks. That would be That would be a nice feature. Although it would kinda defeat the purpose. In the sense that like the only reason I go for like the higher weapons is not 
for the attack or anything. It's because of how the weapon looks, especially in um, in in a uh, Dinosaur Seven Extreme Legends. Um, I only get the nightmare weapons just to see how they look. Oh yeah, they look incredible. I well, think that, the nightmare that, weapons are absolutely fantastic. Yeah. That could be the incentive then. That could be the incentive. When you unlock the nightmare weapon, you can apply that skin to any weapon you've already unlocked. So it's not like they give you all the skins up front. You have to go through the same process of earning them. Well, you, once you've earned the weapon, you can apply that look to what any other weapon in that series. So it still gives you an incentive to try to get the best weapon possible. Yeah. But I'm not punished by having donuts for weapons. I'm looking at you. So yeah, apparently there is a co-op story mode. Yeah. Which is fun, but at the same time I can find it very annoying. What do you guys think about that? Uh, no, I think that's fine. I'm quite happy because it's one, I think it's one of those um, you, you wouldn't have to play as a co-op. Hmm. There's an option to play as a co you know cooperatively, so that's nice. I think but, having the option is hmm. a brilliant thing. But wouldn't you rather prefer to have an online instead of that co-op as in like two controllers? Because for me, dinosaurs when I'm playing co-op, I can't see anything. Well, I can, but I can't see much because the way they split the screen, they split it horizontally rather than vertically. But, but screen splitting is just, uh, it's nice and old school. I know, but they don't <laughs> split it vertically. They split, yeah. they split it horizontally. And I don't like that. Also, I That's think a... there's some, like, 3D displays that allows you to, you know, when you put the 3D glasses on, I think it's one of the Sony 3D displays that when you put the glasses on, um, if you're playing a split screen game, when you put the glasses on, everyone will see their screen independently. Yes, yeah. That's quite cool. I think they should implement that for, like, the 3D games. Especially Dinosaur Wars. Probably I'll be a fan of that. Because I'll buy a 3D TV just for that. <laughs> See, one thing you got to consider is the fact that our TVs are now much bigger. So how... Uh, I, I, you know, I remember using a, a, one of these old square, uh, you know, standard CRT TVs with four grids as a split screen. And, uh... Now that was annoying, but fun. The thing is, I'm still using a CRT, right? <laughs> Which is just hilarious. And the thing is, even when you're playing like Dynasty Warriors on a CRT, it just still looks amazing. Like sometimes I'm like, okay, I have the HD monitor right next to it, so just switch it to that. I was like, no, CRT. You know, it's just it looks astonishing, even in standard definition. How do you think they do that? I mean, I guess that's just the, uh, you know, that's the game engine and, um, you know, uh, the optical uh, transmission between the console and the TV. You know, so I don't think it's any kind of magic trickery or anything like that. You obviously get a better you lie. quality. It's sorcery. <laughs> it's, uh, it was uh, Shuge Leon. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, they they go instantly to Julia Leung. There's all these other like magician type people. I don't people. care. You, you, there's Zuo <laughs> Chi. There's all these other like. I don't care. There's Zhang Zhao. There is there is no one else. The wrath of heaven. <laughs> yeah. No, no he, he's a fraud. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> Look at his hair. What about his hair? It looks cool. You know, the starfish kind of thing? It, that looks amazing. <laughs> Which was a bit odd, because in Dynasty Warriors 7, he was kind of bald. I, I think he's kind of got that, you know, that hair extensions going on. Actually, I, I do think, I think his look, look is pretty cool. Yeah. And, and have, you, have, you seen the, um, have you seen the latest uh, the uh, attacks video for him? I've se apparently, I, I've heard that his muso It's is, absolutely is insane. It's, it, the, the second uh, attack in that is just completely insane. Because um, I was checking on the Dynasty Warriors blog and people were like, Oh my god, I'm just going to play as him from now on because I never used to play as him. I'm hoping like characters like uh, Dong Zhuo and things like that get that kind of, that kind of um, improvement made to them. Because I know not many people play as Dong Zhuo and, and things like that. Mainly because he's a, uh, a weirdo. 
that has more no. to do with his, his personality than how he actually plays. Yeah. Like, no, the, see, I actually didn't mind playing as him, especially in 7. Mm, I still found it a bit... Nah. It wasn't fun to play as him. I find it more fun than uh, Lian Shi. What? Uh, I will say, his bomb moveset... She was fucking... She was insane. No, you can swear on this I, podcast, go on. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. It's I didn't, <laughs> I didn't, you know, I, I didn't like playing as her. Why? The, the crossbow attack was just so lame. No, I, I like the answer. But the thing that kind of... I um, hate on the crossbow! I, I just found it too... She was the last character I, I um, upgraded on um, 7. But why? I just didn't like her. I, I didn't like her moves. It was just. But you know, know she could have had like another weapon. You didn't need to use her EX weapon. <laughs> yeah, I always use their you know their standard weapons because I like to do the EX moves. So. Oh. Uh, the thing is, I I like Leanne sure, but the thing is, I'm just a bit confused about her body structure. But you know, I I was listening to your guys' Chin episode and Chin rectified. He said it's video games. That's <laughs> what happens. Well, um, answer ever. Yeah, she she see, she doesn't seem um, okay. She's still largely breasted, but she's doesn't seem completely off balance this time. She doesn't look, look like her, she will have chronic uh, back issues. Yeah, back pain. yeah, and, and I think that's partially to do with the style of the outfit. I think the outfit in this time is much better. Hmm. Yeah, it is actually a lot of the outfits. Even like Yu Ying, I, I saw Yu Ying. She is. I'm like, whoa! I thought hers was amazing. Same. You know, it's just like, they made her look so elegant, and I don't normally say this about characters, and, you know, Yu Ying looked hot for once. She's meant to be the ugly one, but... Uh, that's what I'm saying, but yeah. you know, she looked attractive. And that, her, her, her new redesign, she looks like the wife of Zhuge Liang. She looks... like they, they, I, I know they try to play up this rivalry between her and Gen Z, she looks like... I don't, that, that that dress is just awesome. It's elegant. It it, it just I don't know what I don't what it is. It's her like her body and face looks the same, but that outfit just makes her look so much more. Even the hair. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, 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 no. I, I liked see. I liked her before, uh, but she was a bit. She was kind of plain looking, wasn't she? Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> now she's. Have they actually changed? the way her face and body looks? I don't think, I think so. I, I think her face looks uh, a little different. Um, but then a lot, uh, most of the faces have been um, improved. And there should be, uh, from what from what I recall, there should be some facial animation in the game as well. No way. That sounds so, awesome. But how often do you see their faces when you're doing the attacking? No, I mean like... Can't they just put it on the screen instead of you know how they just put like a picture of their emotion? Maybe they can animate them talk. I don't know whether that's being implemented. That'll be crazy. That'll be crazy well, awesome. If 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 Seven Empires is any indication, Seven Empires has an option where when they talk, you just they just show the character model of what you're using. The the next logical step from that would be they show the character model actually animating what they're saying when yeah. they say it. That, that would be boss. That... Wow. Well. Another thing, um, while on the subject of costumes and things, I've, have you realized that they took away, like, Summer Zhao's, you know, that his bare chest? It was showing in Dinosaur Warrior 7, and I think they kind of, like, gave it to Yuanji, because, you know, they took away... They're showing more <laughs> Yuanji cleavage compared to Summer Zhao. I'm thinking, okay, why? Why do you have to do that to... Simajal, he looked kind of cool, you know, with his chest showing. I know that sounds a bit weird coming from me, who's a big fan of Wang Yuanji, and I don't actually like the fact that they're exposing more of Yuanji, personally. So, what do you guys think about that? Uh, well, I'm, sh I, I'm sure you, um, there'll be an option to download Dynasty Warriors 7 outfits if you wanted to go back to the old school look, so. Or uh, on the disc. Yeah. Hmm. But I don't know why they did that though. It's just from taking away, you know, she had that kind of neck band thing. You see what I mean? Like, by taking that away, you've changed the costume completely. 
and they just changed pretty much one thing, tweaked here or there. But that's the thing. I see. She 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 looks more like a queen or a princess instead of a warrior. But that's what she is. She was well. She wasn't a queen, but you know, she was married to Sima Zhao. Right. You know. Because in seven, she she looks more like Wang Yi than. Yeah. How she does now. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I know what you mean. Yeah, she looks more ready to fight. Yeah. Um, but even then, I'm. I wouldn't say I'm happy with the Wang Yuanji's redesign, but I really like the rest of them. I like I like Dakiao's redesign. She kind of looks like Hatsune Miku. Uh, Hatsune Miku. And speaking of Hatsune Miku and Vocaloids, have you seen the um, new Lawson outfit for? Wang you actually? Which we're not likely to get. No, I don't think we're going to get that at all. We never get that kind of Lawson. Yeah, I think it's kind of specific to the Japan. Japanese. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, so I'm looking at the uh, Wang Yuan model now, and I think that's fine. I actually prefer this. Which one, though? I like it, it's nice, but I like her 7 1 better. I, I, I like her 7 1 better. See? She, she's got the, uh, the, if you look, the. The tail of the um, of the dress is kind of like um, uh, Sun Chang Chang's uh, uh, Dynasty Warriors 6 outfit. You, you know, the, 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 uh, of all those uh, pointy frills at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Why why we're we talking about Sun Shang Shang? Did you guys catch in the trailer they showed? Her outfit is green. The, the, they they pulled the move they did with Jaha Ba in seven. She has a green variant to her outfit. Ah, now that may tie in with the with the um you know, with the Liu Bei and whatever. But she had them in previous games, you know, in Dynasty Wars uh I think was it five? She so had, so like, maybe a, in the Maybe in the story mode she changes she changes her alpha. Possibly. We won't know until we play the game. Or until Ooh, Michelle plays. It's about to get a lot more interesting. <laughs> oh, um, Justin, you, you remember we were talking about um, uh, her using the bow? <laughs> and the fact that she does she can't use a bow. I listened to that episode because that was the uh, right after I went to uh, had my physical and I was just like, well, f life. Um, okay, <laughs> right. I... No, no. If you watch her, if you watch her, um, her Musu video from uh, the recent um, recent videos that were put up yesterday, she her finisher for one of those attacks is she pulls up the bow and she fires a double shot. <laughs> and it does look awesome. I will say this. I, I may forgive it just because the bow moveset is one of my favorite ones in the game. So I might forgive it. She doesn't see. She doesn't use the, the use the bow at all during the whole um, of that Musu attack. It's just the finisher on that. She pulls out the bow, and then she fires a double shot. Yeah, I'll work with it. I can, get, I can go with that. I'll show you the video. If you haven't seen it already, I'll show you the video later uh, when we finish. Anyway, back to Yuan G's Lawson outfit. Mm -hmm. um, it was based off, you know, the Lawson have their own kind of vocaloid. And then that, I was listening, well, not listening, I've been uh, reading on Tumblr and reading the Dynasty Warriors blog, and people have been asking questions, and they've been saying, you think we'll be getting other, like, Vocaloid costumes or like a Vocaloid pack. That's something I'm, I would be interested in that because you know there's a lot of characters you can kind of implement that with. You know you can give uh, Dakiao Hatsune Miku because she even has the Hatsune Miku hairstyle going on, which is awesome. I have to say, um, yeah. I know I'm bringing it into Vocaloid, but at the end of the day, Vocaloid's awesome. See, see if they did it, it would likely just be stuck in Japan and not. Um, transferred 
uh, over to the west because I don't think over uh, with them they don't see any appeal to it for over here. That's the thing. I there's a large vocaloid presence over here. However, when you when you say no. large, it, when you say large, it's probably a few people making a lot of noise. No, I don't think that. I don't think so because they they uh, at E3 I think last year at Sony's booth they had pretty much you know the, the Project Diva game and they they put it into English and they're they're pretty much saying if people want it we're gonna give it to you in English that's what Sega were trying to say and I think for them to pull a move like that people have to be interested and the fact that people go all the way to Japan just to hear uh, Miku's final concert that that says something of course but but again, I mean, in the Tecmo community, uh, the American uh, population aren't covered. Yeah, I see what you mean. Like, so, so 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 you you know when you say that, I'm sure the majority of those will be in America. Uh, whereas when you look in the European area, I'm sure the the number of people which talk about it or play it is actually quite small in comparison to what they would expect if they wish to transfer that over here. Don't, don't ruin my dreams, Ryder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dream crusher. <laughs> it's okay. It's where he excels at, really. Yeah, that's why we love Ryder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, another question for you guys. Who is your favorite character in the whole series? Well, I'm sure you know mine. Uh, yeah. I know all of yours, but I don't think the viewers do. Okay, well, um, on top it would definitely be uh, Liu Bei. Um, however, over time, I've actually grown a uh, greater fondness with uh, Guan Yu. Oh, the lovely beard. Yeah, it's that beautiful beard. Yes, the ladies. One thing I noticed with Guan Yu's beard is um, that it's so silky. thing is, I try to grow a beard like Guan Yu and it just fails. It's just like, it turns That's out like Zhang Fei's beard is... <laughs> it, it's almost like he just perms the beard. Yeah, I, I don't know like what he, he does conditions, to it. perms, just... <laughs> it gets GHD straighteners and... There you go. <laughs> straighteners his beard every night. <laughs> okay, he had the equivalent of them. Basically, iron, ba iron bars. He sticks in the uh, sticks in the fire, brushing down his beard, sorted. Do you know? I, I sometimes I think his beard's fake. Like he just cut off a horse's tail and just stuck it on there. <laughs> I was yeah, so he sad that. that dinosaurs <laughs> ate when he nerfed, they nerfed his beard. Yes. Yeah. His beard's slightly nerfed. No. I can't do that. He doesn't look bad, you know. You can you can tell it's him still. It's not. You know, no, it's no, not a massive it, identity crisis, but yeah, it's it's uh, slightly. No, tricky. but that that makes Guan Yu Guan Yu. Watch. Beard. They're gonna make a DLC outfit of Guan Yu shaved. No, <laughs> don't say those kind of things. <laughs> yeah, he's got no hair at all. No, don't don't say that. Don't. Don't. Speaking of Guan Yu, what do you think of his his new children that they put into the game? I think it's really, I think it's a really cool, smart move. Explain. Well, they, you know, the the characters themselves in the game look interesting. You know, they look interesting to play. Uh, they got some nice new uh, weapons, move sets, and there are also characters which people have been asking for. Um, and it kind of completes that little family on the uh, two side. Okay. So, of all of Guan Yu's children, who are you most excited for? Oh, it's gotta be Guan Yu. It, it, it has yeah. to be Guan Yu. I like his weapon. What's his weapon? Uh, he's. It's kind of like a sword. Well, it's pretty much a sword, but. Um, 
It looks like a Strider's <laughs> weapon from Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh. Uh, it, no, it could almost go into a final. It could almost go into a Final Fantasy game as well. <laughs> but we won't talk you know Final it could, Fantasy. It could. Michelle. Huh? We won't talk Final Fantasy. Oh no! Let's let's not go there. <laughs> oh oh. Oh. The rage <laughs> don't, don't get me started. Oh. Um. But no, I, I'm excited about Guan Zing. I'm excited that they have him and Zhang Bao finally. Um, I'm, I'm interested to see how they, what what part they play in Shu's story. I think they'll like you know the southern campaign that because I've noticed they're in a lot of battles in like the Nanman kind of right. things. Even as NPCs, they're always there. Uh, so I think they're going to play a massive part in that, and that means they if. If Dynasty Warriors has anything, Dynasty Warriors Seven has anything to go by, they're going to focus a lot more on the like the Southern campaign in this game, and like non-mon in general. Well, hopefully that means we can get some more uh, some more non-mon uniques. Yeah, the thing that I was disappointed about is um, in Dynasty Warriors Seven, the NPCs for non-mon were like every other NPC. Yeah, I noticed that. I, I, I was doing a video for getting a. Uh, uh, Bow. You know what? I'm, I'm not even going to try to pronounce her last name because I butcher it every time. Mm-hmm. But uh, Guanso's, Guanso's love interest. Oh, I was yeah. trying to get her chaos weapon. And I noticed all the non-mon just look like, like regular NPCs. And I was like, I remember a time when the non-mon had a unique NPC design. I remember those days. I'm hoping that they just give them unique like NPC design. And there's only one like NPC that's like proper unique. And it's that guy. I forgot his name. Uh, he's in Dong Zhou's forces. Oh, I forgot his name. He had a mask. Wasn't that Fu Shu Ren? No, it wasn't him. It was a uh, her. I can't pronounce his name. Oh, it's a. Like, uh, oh yeah, it's a uh, Hu Chu or something like that. That's the one. Oh, yeah, I was like, apparently he's not Chinese, so maybe that's why they gave him that unique um, NPC, but. Even then, I'm, I want to see him as a character. Maybe see his story, but I doubt they'll do that. Because he's not popular. Yeah. Well, maybe. Mm. Maybe. maybe. Uh, we may see him. Uh, I would actually like to see if we're going on the route of people not in the Three Kingdoms. Yang Liang and Wen Chu. Even though their shining moment is getting cut down by Guan Yu, I think they deserve a little bit more. Like they get they um they make them new characters just so they can get killed by Guan Yu. Hey, if you gotta go. <laughs> well, I wonder what their weapons would be. Because that's the thing you have to think about. See, I don't know if I would waste giving like a brand new weapon to them. I may just give them a spear with a different move set or something. Maybe a pike that looks different. I I, I wouldn't waste something nice and flashy on someone that's just going to die in a chapter. <laughs> hmm. But actually, a lot of characters have been dying recently. Like, John Wei. Like, he hasn't been in many battles in Dying Story 7. Well, yeah, because he, he, he died, what, right in the beginning? That's the thing. So, yeah, why, why do they have to make him die? I know he dies, but why do they have to show him dying? It was just so... Painful because I remember the, uh, John Wayne in Dying Wars 2. That was the guy I used to play as, and mm. I didn't even change any other characters because, as a six-year-old, I, I didn't really think to do that. And I, that's why I only played one story mode. I only played the Way story mode. I didn't even know there was a Wu or a Shu or whatever. I just played the Way story mode just with John Wayne, like how many times? But like three copies of that game. Anyway, but yeah, so. Seeing him die it was just whoa. Why Tecmo Koei? And I'm guessing they're gonna do the same in Dynasty Warriors 8. They're just gonna kill off loads of characters, and we're gonna see their brutal deaths. I gotta same. say, uh, playing Seven with my little brother, when uh, Dion Wei's death came up, we both stood up. We we're just like, that is a man. I have to say, like, I w- I told my sister to come in, and she's like the biggest Dion Wei fan, and I was like, yeah, yeah. Come take a seat. I had to, you know, it's like telling a kid that their puppy's gonna die. 
That's that was the feeling. You see what I mean? Uh, even the way he dies is so heroic and so yeah, I respect you a lot more. And that's and you know I respect loads more characters in Dying Shore Seven, and there's some that I started to disrespect a bit more, like um, Jiang Wei. Like I used to respect him a lot. He used to be one of my favorite characters, but then after Excel, I was like, I hate you. I genuinely do. See, I wouldn't go so far as hate, but with Seven no, does. No, 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 no. I hate him. Do you know why? Mainly because, you know that battle with Liu Shan, and then he's mm -hmm. saying, oh, you, you got things mistaken, and trying to build a new world, and he goes with Zhong Hui, and that, that just made me disrespect him, and it made me respect Liu Shan a bit more. I used to hate Liu Shan. But after that battle, I was like, you know what, Jiang Wei, taking your respect, and I'm giving it to you, Sean. Uh, I will say what 7XL did, 7XL really, like you said, it expanded on Liu Shan, and I like the way they interpreted his character. He is capable of great things, he just doesn't care. And he doesn't want anyone to know that he's capable of great things. And it really highlighted Jiang Wei's fatal flaw of he tried so hard to live up to Zhuge Liang's expectations, that he never took heed of Zhuge Liang's primary lesson, become your own man. He failed to become his own man. And I like how 7XL does not shy away from that. They, they paint out for you plainly. He is living in the shadow of Zhuge Liang and never tried to escape it. Yeah. The thing that I was um, a bit upset about, you know, is like Zhuge Liang dying. I know, I know it's a bit stupid to say that, but yeah. I thought that was handled really well. Mm, it's just, I just don't like seeing characters die. Especially Zhuge Liang. I, 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 you know, so I know he I, dies I, I think, as well. I think, that's, I think it was brilliant. I thought they, you know, I thought they did a, good, a great job of it. Yeah, they especially did. especially when, like, you know, because you know, they're trying to tell the stories, and that happens in the stories. And so, that's, you know, it all makes sense. They just kept them alive for the whole time. That would just make they it used to do that. They used yeah, to do that. exactly. That, and that just makes it ridiculous. But the thing is, I want to see, like, um, of course, I think three modes returning, which means uh, you can actually play as yes, every uh, you're character. Gonna have free, yeah, you're going to have free mode instead of uh, conquest mode. Well, yeah, I, that's good. Cause I don't because I don't... Uh, conquest mode wasn't as well received, I don't but I believe, so... Right. It, I see what they tried to do with conquest mode, but it came off as just like a poor man's free mode. They tried to, they tried to create this. This world was like, okay, it's one guy going through China, but it's like, and eh, this is really just going through a bunch of stages. Yeah, it's free mode. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I think I'll prefer the, the free mode style than um, what the, than, than having another conquest. But do you think it'll be like a Morizorochi 3's kind of free mode? Because that was useless. Um, um, I have a feeling it might be a bit like um, 7XL. You know, you know how 7XL's story mode's laid out? Yeah. I think it might be like a bit like that. Although, uh, when Empires comes out, I think that may give some hints as to what it might be like as well. Okay. I don't, you know, okay, you, you do tend to deal with Empires games in a slightly different way, but, the, you know, there may be some hints in there as to how it may pan out. Speaking of Empires, um, do we get that cat thing over here? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. You guys get it. You guys in in the EU region? Yes, get I, no don't, one I, I, I don't. I don't think the US is getting there. Why is that? Uh, Tecmo America. Are you serious? Over a cat? Tecmo I... America fails on so Are many. Are you serious? Years. So we get the cat, and you guys don't get the cat. It's it's all to do with that because um, obviously Europe submits their their things in separate to the US, and uh, Europe tries to put in as much in favour of the US as they can, but obviously they're catering for the European uh, uh, market, whereas um, obviously the American side is not as well represented, or not represented. <laughs> so yes. Yeah, so I the, think that the American side kind of focuses on like dead or alive, because I know if um, 
because you know all the Dead or Alive pros, they always, you know, they they talk to Tecmo Curry America a lot, and I I just think that Tecmo Curry America don't really, I don't want to hate on them, but I don't think they focus more on Dynasty Warriors because you know Dynasty Warriors isn't as well the, received. The American company, uh, the American side of the company, actually focuses a lot more on um, the Western. Uh, the, the kind of more Western um, influence games, like that, uh, like what Tecmo put out, as opposed to what Koei put out. Mm. Yeah, but really, um, it does make me think. Like, were they that that actual Tecmo Koei in America? Was was that a, a Tecmo beforehand? Was I it the don't... merger or? Was that a Koei before the merger? Because it could explain some things. Because if it was a Tecmo headquarters before the merger, then you know it could explain why they're a bit more focused on the kind of Tecmo side of things. To be honest, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure if um, you know if there was a Koei America um, beforehand or or not. So, but what about Tecmo Koei Europe? Was that was that a Koei? Europe there was a there was a Koei here, yeah. I, th- I believe we were represented by a Koei. Um, although the original um, Dynasty Warriors games were actually published by THQ, if I recall. Um, the the third one was. The second one wasn't. Which is uh, it was a bit weird. It was only for one game. Okay. It was for Dynasty Warriors three because I remember the Dynasty Warriors three packaging it says a uh, THQ. On the end. It's a shame to hear about THQ. Uh, it was yeah. a, a real shame, you know, and I hope they find jobs and stuff in the gaming community. And, you know, there's many companies out there that are trying to take advantage of that. You know, like Infinity Ward, they're like, oh yeah, if you guys need a job, we're here for you. Um, which is good and bad in, in, in that kind of sense. But I don't want to talk about that much. Anyway... Let's talk about. There's something I really want to talk about at the beginning. Um, people bitching about the games. And I was talking to Michelle about this earlier, and pretty much people were like, "Oh no!" They saw Diao Chan's outfit, and they're like, "Oh, she looks like a cheap whore." Well, guys, if you think that, then you don't need to buy the game. It's if you really dislike how Tate McCoy are making the game, you don't need to buy it. Simple as, I know you're going to buy it in the end because that's how we work, you know, we want to buy it to try it and, and stuff like that. But if you don't like the game, don't buy it, simple. Um, you don't need to hate on it. Because hating on things won't actually cause an improvement to be made. If you want to make a suggestion, a kind suggestion, just like a polite kind of thing, you can always email them, I think, but, uh, you know, or just say, yeah, I, know, I like how this is going and things like that. Or to even speak on the forums, because they do check the forums uh, and stuff like that. Also, but the thing is, if people are complaining, the, the main thing is if people are complaining about outfits, um, there's pretty much always the option to, to have a diff- an alternative outfit. There uh, is that, but then especially the, where I don't see why especially with characters that have been in there, you know, been in the game series before. There's going to be usually past outfits or alternative, you know, a few extra alternative outfits. So there's always the option to change it to something that they do prefer. But we don't know if they're going to give that on the disc or if it's going to be DLC because for Dinosaur Seven it was DLC, and I know many people do not like buying DLC for Dynasty Warriors for some reason. I don't know why that is. But there you go. Yes. Also, another thing is people thought that Dynasty Warriors um, 7 Empires was coming out on the Xbox 360 for some odd reason. Um, there was... Uh, someone asked Jim when... Uh, what, what Dynasty Warriors um, on the Xbox uh, can he change uh, a, like create a, a warrior mm. and Chin's reply was um, you can do this in Dynasty Warriors uh, 7 Empires and immediately as soon as I saw that I put a, I sent Chin a correction and he retweeted that you know he retweeted my correction 
and um, obviously apologise to the guy who said it, and, and you know because I said that it wasn't seven, it's actually six empires. Um, and then for some reason people only took the first tweet um, and didn't look any, you know, didn't go any further into it, and then got disappointed that it wasn't coming out. <laughs> yeah, another thing is, um, I think Game um, a few weeks ago um, actually had it on their website as an Xbox kind of PlayStation 3 release? I, th- I think sometimes um, there's um, misinformation. Yeah. Um, and, it, you know, it happens occasionally with uh, with uh, distributors and uh, the retailers because what will be done with game is it doesn't go directly through Tecmo Koei. Um, they go through uh, Koch Media. So... Um, that may have been a miscommunication between uh, Koch Media and game. Um, and game. So, so, because I was just so confused on that day, because I went to pre-order, um, I think like Call of Duty, and then I was asking about Dying Shore Seven Empires, and I and I asked, um, can I pre-order it here? And they were like, yeah, we can pre-order it on the Xbox and the PS3. And I was like, what? No, that don't make sense. And then I had to talk to, I sent an email to Game. And they're like, okay, we'll get that sorted out. And I'm gonna go to game tomorrow, so I'll, I'll actually check if they sort that out because if they didn't, you know, there's a lot of mis- miscommunications, especially with game as well. I'm not hating on game; I really like game, but um, like I checked today, uh, was it today or yesterday? Anyway, it doesn't really matter because you guys will be probably listening to this in like a week's time, so it doesn't really matter what day it is. So yeah, um, on the website, when you go to the price checker for the trade-ins, mm-hmm. you type in Dynasty Warriors and it. It comes up with Dynasty Warriors um, Seven Empires, and actually giving in a, a trade-in price for that game. And all the game didn't come out yet, so I think the trade-in price you trade it and you get eighteen pounds credit. So I'm like, what the hell? That doesn't make sense because the game's not even out. But you know, people yeah, make but, mistakes. But, yeah, but there might be other games like that which um, are available to actually pre-order, and um, they may have price on all of those as well. Possibly. Anything else you guys want to talk about? Uh, not that I can think of. <laughs> no. um, I mean, we kind of covered. I know there's like you know, we've discussed the moves and whatnot, weapons and stuff. Uh, I mean, new characters look pretty awesome, and it's nice that they've introduced the characters that they have. Um. I'm just looking forward myself to when we get some information as to the uh, localization of the game and um, you know, what details um, are going to come of that. You know whether or not we will get um, an English dub, uh, which I, I I doubt it, but um, I know it's being looked into. Um, yeah, I mean. Uh, Wait and see what you know. DLC is going to come out for the game. Um, when you look and see any DLC that comes out in Japan, pretty much all of that will tend to come over here, but it will govern the same staggers as it does in Japan. So, although the DLC is available, most you know we won't get it. We'll, we'll probably get it in you know bi bi weekly batches or however they work it out like they are in Japan. So people will have to wait. Yeah, another thing I wanted to talk about was, right at the end, I wanted to say this right at the end, I forgot now, I don't know why, um, it was, yeah, it was about um, YouTubers out there and things like that, so I really wanted to talk about at the end if that was okay with you, Ryden and Michelle. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of good YouTubers out there, guys, and I'm pretty much recommending some for you, there's Dark Master Mune 87 and there's... Jersey Mr. Boy. Hackenslash. Yeah, Mr. Hackenslash himself. I'm trying to get him on the podcast, and if he's listening, come on <laughs> down. Um, but yeah, him and his cousin, you know, they do some amazing gameplays, you know, especially Dark Master Mune, you know, does some boss Warriors Arachi 3, you know, that Chaos series, and things like that. Also, if you guys checked out his... So yeah, guys, hope you guys have enjoyed episode 50... Do, do, do three of the podcast and 
yeah, we had the We Are Gamers team, and there it was an honor to have them on, as always. Also, um, one last thing before I end this episode, be sure to pre-order your copy of Dynasty Warriors 7 Empires from, you know, the retailer of your choice. And, yeah, also, if you guys want a good stereo headset that you can use for your PlayStation 3, your Xbox 360, your PC, your iPod, your phone, whatever, or even use it with your Astro Mix Amp if you have one, um, go check out Infected Audio. They retail around £20, so they're cheap and they're good quality and everything. And, you know, if you want them even cheaper, then, you know, Infected Audio are giving me this kind of discount for the views of the Get Life podcast. So if you're listening, go to Infected Audio, tell them Bishop's Mish sent you, and they will give you a 25% discount. So you'll be paying £15 instead of £20 for a cheap, good headset. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode about Dinosaur's 8.